Hey guys, Joe here for Gamer Toys. This is gonna be kind of TMNT Out of the Shadows Part 2. Um, and if I have time, I might throw in a few more other things. So let's get started. Let's start off with Raphael. I'm really digging the brighter colors this time around. Um, if you compare them to the Raphael from the first movie, um, you can tell they're more dull. It might seem like there's a little bit less detail because of the brighter colors, but I think they're pretty even. He's kind of got this crazy like flight suit harness. I'm not even sure. Um, he's got a sweatshirt tied around his waist. He's got his uh, red bandana like from the first movie. He's uh, has lost his loincloth. Now he is wearing shorts. Um, he comes with his sigh and what looks like two like climbing picks. I'm not even sure. I mean, I'm not a rock climber, but or maybe there's some kind of alien weapon. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Uh, the back is the same as the other figures. Uh, Raphael's cool though, I dig it. On to Donatello. Now this Donatello is kind of crazy looking. He looks very military. It looks like he's got some green cargo pants on. He has full boots on, which uh, you can't see really, but there's no turtle toes sticking out. And uh, yeah, he comes with a drone. So I'm curious to see what part the drone plays in the movie. Um, he has some kind of like binocular visor on top of his head. He comes with headphones. He's got two GoPros on his shoulders, which is kind of cool. He's wearing a standard military uh, strap harness type thing. And of course, there's a bunch of stuff on his shell again. Um, and this time, the glasses, instead of being a separate piece, are actually molded on the bandana. I could see where some people might not be a fan of that because at least with the first Donatello, if you didn't like the glasses, you could just lose them. Now we got Leonardo. I like the face a lot. It looks the most turtley. He's got some crazy like black pants on with gray wraps. He's got Japanese kind of sandals on. I'm not even sure. He has a nice blue detail with the sash around his waist. He comes with two swords. And he actually has a sheath on his shell where you can store the swords if you don't want him to hold them. That's okay. I'm not a huge fan, but I don't hate it. It's still pretty cool. Let's move on. And last but not least is Michelangelo. He comes with the coolest accessory, if you ask me, and that's the skateboard. Um, it looks like he has the same shoulder straps that Donatello has, maybe a little bit different. It looks like those are supposed to be sunglasses hanging there. He has a sweatshirt like Raph tied around his waist. He's got some kind of shorts on, and he has black and white sneakers on. He comes with his nunchucks, which is awesome. He has a chain around his neck, you know. He looks very similar to the Michelangelo from the first movie. Uh, with a little bit of changes, as they all do. But he has a nice texture on his skin, which I like. It looks like he has no neck, though. Kind of like doing this kind of thing. I'm not sure. But uh, he's definitely the shortest of them all. And uh, pretty cool. Last but not least, you know, as big as a Star Wars nerd as I am, I still hate saying this guy's name because I feel like I'm saying it wrong every time. Nine Nub? I'm not sure. Um, but you all know who he is. Uh, he co-piloted the Millennium Falcon with Lando Calrissian and Return of the Jedi. This is a very nice upgrade to my beater one who uh, has tons of paint loss. This guy is really clean. He has the tiniest bit of paint loss on the boot. He comes with his original weapon. It's not a repro, which is always nice. He's just really clean looking and I love getting figures that are this minty. Looks like he was just taken off the card and he's a nice addition to my collection. All right, guys, that's it for my pickups video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, get out there and get that TMNT out of the shadows uh, action figures if you haven't yet. If you don't, that's cool. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings on these figures, like there was from the first movie. But unlike the first movie, I remember a handful of those figures being really hard to come by in stores. Every time I've gone to Walmart, I have seen the entire set of these figures. All four turtles, all five bad guys, Casey Jones and Splinter. The only ones I haven't seen are the three variants of the Turtles. I'm not sure when those are going to drop. I'm not super excited about those. I'm not even sure if I'll get them. I probably will get them, even though I'm not super excited about them. But other than that, enjoy your day, guys. I'll see you in the next video.